So let's drill down now into these words in the very middle of verse 15. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. The first word is Christ. It means the anointed one. The one who was anointed with the power and the person of the Holy Spirit in the River Jordan as he began his public ministry, as he stepped out of obscurity and he stepped into the spotlight of his public ministry into the River Jordan as he was baptized by John the Baptist so that he would identify with those whom he came to save. The heavens opened up. God said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And the Spirit of God descended like a dove upon him, and he was anointed with power to carry out his public ministry in his sinless humanity that was joined to eternal deity, such that it was the Spirit of God that impelled him. It was the Spirit of God that that infused him and used him. It was the Spirit of God that enabled him to say what he said, do what he did. It was the Spirit of God that helped him set his face like a flint towards Jerusalem and go all the way to Calvary, to go all the way to the cross, to not recoil, to not pull back, and to keep him suspended upon that cross. He was the anointed one. That's what the word Messiah means, Meshua in the Old Testament. The one who has come in the power of the Holy Spirit of God. It speaks of his humanity. It speaks of his sinless humanity. After his baptism, he went into the synagogue in Nazareth, He took the scroll, that is, the scroll of Isaiah, the prophet. He unrolled it to what is for us, Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to preach, to proclaim liberty to the captives. This is the one who came. He came in the power of the Holy Spirit so that he would successfully carry out his saving enterprise of sinners. Sinners. 